in Benue State have commended President Muhammad Buhari for granting financial autonomy to state houses of assembly. Some of, some of them said the autonomy puts to rest the controversial issue of who controls operational funds of members of the legislature, removing bottlenecks which hinder the operations. So correspondent Hamadine Uyi reports. It was an opportunity to appraise the performance of state lawmakers in the last one year. The Speaker of the Benue State House of Assembly and several other lawmakers say the last 365 days have been eventful and can be termed a success. They say indeed several important bills have been passed by the State House. We've got about 18 bills uh, within this period we're talking. Uh, the 18 were passed uh, uh, to various committees and uh, subsequently 14 after that 18 were passed into law. I think four are now pending at the various stages of uh, other committees. I think the Benin State House of Assembly has done well. We have rolled out a couple of bills. We have brought uh, forth so many uh, motions that are aimed to help the people on the street, the people from our country. We still have a long way to go. We are still in the learning process. So far, so good. As a house, we have one united house, and we are doing our best to make laws for the people of Benue State. Although it's challenging, we are not be living up to, up to our expectation as expected by our constituent house. We are doing our best. We are doing the best we can. Some of them think the signing of the executive order by President Muhammad Dubwari, which granted financial autonomy to state houses of assembly, has created a conducive environment for lawmakers to work. They see the executive order enforces separation of powers among the three tiers of government. This is one milestone that, uh, that has happened to this country. Uh, President Muhammad Buhari on that 23rd of May, uh, on that Friday, put pen to that executive order to give uh, financial autonomy to the state legislature uh, and the judiciary. And I think, I think it's commendable, it's highly commendable. It also shows that it is a president that wants things to be done right. The three arms of government have their own autonomy. Uh, the principle of separation of powers, checks and balances, will be guaranteed. And uh, in doing this, we will be able to curtail or to check our excesses. I think uh, it, it is apt and it has come at the right time. Uh, it's just separation of power. There's nothing more than that separa separation. The lawmakers assured residents of Benway that they will continue to do all they can to improve their lives via the enactment of quality and people-focused laws. Amadine Uyi, Plus TV Africa. Thank you, Amadine, for that report.